surprise Steph Curry pushed for the Warriors to trade for Kevin Durant? I don't know if he pushed for it, but he said, hey, he would welcome it. Well, he uh, said, hell yeah. Yeah, but, if, but here's the thing, Skip. Yes. Steph Curry has two more rings than probably that, that he would have had had KD not gone there. He knows that KD makes his job a lot easier, and it greatly increases their chance. Now, they won last year. They're the first or second favorite this year. But if Kevin Durant was on Golden State for the next three years, they're going to be the favorite. No matter who, whether or not they lost in the finals or not, they're going to come back the following year and be the favorite to win again, to, to win the title in the, uh, the upcoming season. KD and those Warriors, Skip, they were losing 13, 14 games a season. It wasn't, I mean, it, I mean it's, you're like, I mean, I, I mean, it was beautiful basketball, the way they moved the ball, the way they cut, everything. But, I mean, it wasn't no fun watching because you already know who's going to win. You, you put, no, nah, they're, they're, they're not going to lose 82 games. They'll probably be like 65, 17, 67, and, you know, 67 and 15, something like that. No. But I think, look, Steph isn't threatened by KD. KD, Steph knows he's the more accomplished player. Than Kevin Durant. He knows no matter what Kevin Durant accomplishes in Golden State, <laughs> it's my team, big dog. Mm. It's my team. Well, he does know that he, for sure. And and what as far as dub nation sees it, it's it's Steph, Steph, Steph. And, and how everybody else sees it. Yeah. We heard what Shaq, we heard what Charles Barkley said. You you wasn't no, you you bus riding. Mm. That, that's Steph team. You went there, you joined them. Steph proved last year. I can win without you, KD. You have yet to show that you can win without me. But in that same article, he says, look, yeah, it'd have been nice if I can keep wigs and I can get KD and Pooh. But the one thing he always say, this is like with LeBron, they're like, oh, I love to play with him too. But I like what I got. I like where he's always going to pay homage to what he has and what he's won, what he's accomplished with. And I'm not so sure he's willing to give that up. He knows that if we get KD... We're probably going to be without pool. We're probably going to lose a lot of these young guys. Probably going to lose wigs also. Mm -hmm. And I think he's built a bond with those guys that he doesn't necessarily want to break. Like I said, he don't want to step on toes, Skip. Mm -hmm. Because the worst thing that you could do, Skip, is like, yeah, yeah, ooh, I would love to have that guy. And then all of a sudden, we don't get that guy. And then everybody looking at you like this here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wanted him, huh? Yep. Oh, you, we weren't good enough. We, won, you, we helped win your title, but now you want to jettison us. So he's very, very mindful of saying, yeah, I would love to play with KD. He's a historically, he's an all-time great player. I had so much fun playing with him. But I'm cool with what I got. Mm. Okay, I hear everything you just said, but I don't buy everything you just said. <laughs> I'm going to first make a positive point before I go extremely negative on this. But the positive point is, I did love what Steph said about KD as a person, mm -hmm. that he talked at length about him as a person. He said, from our history in those three years together, I think KD's a really good dude. Right. And you don't hear many people say this, but he's speaking from his heart right. on this one because he, he says, I, I think he's really misunderstood. I, I think he's had certain things happen in his life that hurt his ability to trust people around him in a, in a sense of making him feel safe at all times. So all of those things I understand having played with him and got to know him, I love that dude. Okay, I love that quote because that is heartfelt, raw, real emotion mm -hmm. about a guy that you went to battle with right. and you won two rings with. All right, that's the good side of this. <laughs> the bad side of it for me is you, you have elevated Stephen Curry into top 10 all-time status. Top 10, yes. Top 10 all-time. Absolutely, all absolutely. And once again, he has disqualified himself by saying, yeah, I, I, I want a ring without him. And boy, I would love to have him back. Yeah. You would? Yeah, stack them chips. Oh, wait, wait a second. Just a second. You basically crawled all the way across no, the yeah, country man, on July the 3rd, oh, back of 2016. You crawled. <laughs> you crawled. You, you led a contingent all the way across, halfway out on Long Island. He hitched the ride. They was already going that way. Kiss Steph said, I'll go along with you. He was the perpetrator of that <laughs> movement. <laughs> he, was. he was. He was the leader. And he got down on bended knee oh, and said, goodness. would you please come and save us? Because you told me that Draymond Green, of all warriors, the tough guy, he fled into the parking lot, yeah. according to Shannon Sharp, in tears. Mm -hmm. Cell phone. So, so it's all in his ear. Yeah, all in his ear. KD, 
you got to come and save us. you got to come and save us, please. Because they had just blown a three games to one lead to LeBron and Kyrie and company. And Steph Curry had come up even smaller than he is in those three games, especially the two at Oracle, because they had game five and seven at home. Yes. In game seven, Steph Curry all time stunk it up. And even Draymond and Clay had to be saying to each other, my God, we got to go get somebody who can lead us back to the promised land. And they went and got the man who, as you correctly pointed out, helped Steph Curry and all the rest win two more rings mm -hmm. because he, LeBron was coming back because he was still in the East, still at Cleveland, and he was coming back to the finals two more times, yeah. and they could just see it happening. They, yeah. they could see what history was going to bring to them. They, they probably would have swept Golden State with Kyrie. With the, way Ky, the way Kyrie had all of a sudden turned the, the player that he had turned into, yep. without Kevin Durant, okay, they're, not I beating, got it. they're not beating Cleveland. So KD went and helped Steph win two rings, and, and he cost LeBron two potential rings. He did. He did. Mm -hmm. It, it he was did. a difference. It was nuclear, the mm -hmm. difference he yeah. made. And then he realized, to your point, he woke up one day and said, I'm never going to be the man here because he was homegrown. They drafted him. They stole him in the draft. Yeah. And he is the baby-faced assassin. Right. And he is far more lovable than I am because I'm always picking fights with o somebody. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. And I'm always the grumpy older man, yeah, right? Okay, yeah. so that's... I don't even know if Steph responds on Twitter. No. I know he has a Twitter account, but I don't even know no. if he responds to anybody. He, he once took a shot at me on Twitter. He did? After they won in 2015, I oh. believe it was, he took a shot. But whatever. The point is that how, as a top 10 player, could you then, after you went by yourself and led a team as you finally broke through and won your first finals MVP... How could you publicly admit, oh, yeah, hell yeah, I pushed for us to go get Kevin and reacquire him. He's a good dude. Well, that all sounds good, but it doesn't help your legacy. It's a legacy crusher because you're saying, well, I, I can't really win another one without him. He I did need it. him to come. He already did it. Yeah, we did it because Boston self-destructed the team <laughs> you picked to win the final, shot itself multiple times right in the foot. But he said... On the prospects of acquiring KD, if anybody's saying that you wouldn't entertain that conversation, no disrespect to anybody on our team, but you don't know how things work. Skip, they entertained it. Okay, but he's publicly acknowledging. Yes. He's gushing about I told you. Whew. I told you. But it came down to I don't believe Bob Myers was willing to part with everything that, and, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, uh, uh, they said, nah. Even if you give us Poole, even if you give us Wiseman, and you give us Kaminga and Moody in okay. those three picks, that's still not enough. Maybe they said, after it was all said and done, maybe Brooklyn said no. Mm. Maybe Bob Myers says, no, I'm not willing to go that. But, Skip, you got to entertain it. Okay, what if Jerry Krause and Jerry Reinsdorf had gone to Michael Jordan when he was like 30 years of age and said, hey, we can get Larry Bird. You want him? What do you think he'd say? He's going to say, yeah. Hell no. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. No. Let me ask you a question. If they say, you know what, hey, hey, uh, hey uh, Tom, the, we can acquire uh, Jordan, Justin Jefferson. Oh, we can well, get Chase. Okay. Why, why not? Why not? Yeah. You the gold quarterback. Yeah. Why you need a receiver like that when you got Godwin, when you got Mike Evans? Why would you need Cooper? Because you won your first six Super Bowls with a, with three guys from he, Dorchester with a bunch of Edelmans and Amendola. And he, he did it six times. He said, six times. And, and, you won with virtually nothing. Belichick's, you're seeing him get exposed right before your very eyes right now. And Steph now. Curry said, I won my first title without him. Mm. He joined me to get a title. Mm. He, he joined not, me to get a title. He joined me to get a title. No, he came to save you after you shrank. Skip, no matter what, if you come join me, I'm always going to be viewed upon because they're going to look at me as that I took you in. Mm. That's how they're going to look at it. And that's and what did they say? KD joined Steph. Even though he did go help recruit him, he joined him. Steph didn't go to him. Okay, but this would be trading for Kevin Durant. So you would have to initiate the move. It would be your choice to go get Kevin. Would he co-sign? I don't know. I assume he would. I, I have no idea. Maybe, yeah. maybe he'd say, I have enough of those guys. Maybe he would veto the trade, for all I know. I, I have no idea. Well, well the, the pro and plus the problem, okay, we had him for three years, gave him everything, put, let the family fly on the plane. We did everything we possibly could. In three years, we're unhappy. Okay, we get all get rid of all these guys, and most of them are no more than 24 years of age. That is correct. 
What happens if he's unhappy in two years again? Then what do we do? Okay, but what if you got two more rings to show for it? Is it worth it? Hell yeah. They say, guess what? We got a ring without him. Who mm. says we can't get two more without him? Huh. Well, that was <laughs> thanks to LeBron it, crumbling in whoa, game four. Whoa, 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 LeBron whoa. LeBron had them dead whoa, to whoa, rights. Whoa, 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 He's whoa. up two games to one with game four in his house. I know a guy that was up three to one. Mm. I know a guy that was up three one. Mm. <laughs> and, 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 and blew I know, that. I know two to one, and I know LeBron had played yeah. the best three games of his career in a row because he did not have Kevin Love, and then he lost Kyrie and yeah. game one in overtime. Yeah. And he had them dead to rights Stop because it, they man. weren't the Warriors how many, yet, and how, they didn't have Kevin. They weren't. Skip, uh, you do realize they, like they Steph, didn't know who they were. They Steph Curry was the MVP. Steph Curry was the MVP. No, Andre Iguodala was the MVP. Uh, oh, the regular Dude, season. I got it. I got it. But then in those first three games. He shrank again, right on schedule. Oh it was goodness. his first fight. Well, go look at his numbers. Go look at what he shot from. Three I'm just trying to figure. I'm just trying to figure out. How do you blame Steph Curry for blowing a three-one lead, but you never place any blame on Kevin Durant for blowing same said three-one lead? He did that. Okay, one was in the finals. One was in the conference finals. So guess what? The guy wouldn't even been in the finals if your guy did what he was okay. supposed to do. And one guy was stuck with Russell Westbrook, just the way LeBron, as we speak, is stuck with Russ. But that's not what you said. You keep saying LeBron James couldn't even make the play-in tournament mm. with Russ. Now all of a sudden you give Kevin Durant a pass because he was playing with Russ, mm. and LeBron James is playing with a less athletic Russell Westbrook mm. than what Kevin Durant had. Well, I thought but you told me LeBron's better than KD. Right? You that's not what you told me. So you think LeBron James would have... How many times have LeBron James ever blown a 3-1 lead? Mm. I know he come back from 3-1. Mm. I know he's gotten swept a bunch of times. I know a guy... I, how, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. I know a guy that just got swept a couple of months ago. Mm. And he got... It hurt him so bad, the man went in and demanded a trade. Mm. Ask him, do you want him or me? Same guy that... <laughs> do you want Steph him Curry said, or do you whoa, want me? Whoa, we, we could have him. Let's go get him. Wow, interesting. <laughs> but then Steph swam deeper and deeper into deep water. Yeah, he did. And then he had to walk it all the way back. He said, hey, if we want to run this thing back, I've got complete confidence in my team that we can win it again yeah. as constructed. Yes, because I believe he started it. to realize, wait a second, I'm sending a message to all those young guys that we'd have to trade all of them to get Kevin Durant. Hey. And, and he's saying, hell yeah, let's get Man it. got swept so bad. LeBron huh. James got swept and never demanded a trade. Mm. Never demanded a trade. No matter how bad things got, mm. he ne never demanded a trade. Your guy got swept and went, played the beautiful ones. Mm. Ask Joe Side, do you want him or do you want me? Mm. <laughs> what happened, Skip? Well, Kyrie. The man demanded a trade. Kyrie had Not Kyrie. Trade. I don't want to hear nothing about Kyrie. I don't want to hear nothing about Kyrie. Just the way Kyrie said, I want no more of this LeBron see? stuff. See? It's see? Because all he wants to do is stat pad. But, but, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, you see what you did? Now, when Kyrie said he didn't want any more, you, you didn't blame Kyrie. You said, Kyrie, that was well with it. Now, Kevin Durant asked for a trade. You blame Kyrie. Huh. Well, as we speak, Kevin Durant is still a Brooklyn Net, and so is Kyrie. And it didn't I, have no choice. I think they might be the favorites to win it all. He tried to strong. How you strong arm a billionaire? Huh. He's trying to twist the man arm, twist the man arm behind his back. Say, get me up out of here. He, Joe Sy wrestle up out of that thing. Say, man, get over there in the corner. You playing here? You ain't going nowhere. Okay. Well, he's still the best player on the. Planet. I don't care. He's the best player. He's the best player on the planet in Brooklyn. Yeah. Huh. He ain't the best player on the planet somewhere else. Like he thought. All tried I to strong arm people. Steph Curry needs help. And guess what? Moon walked his way right on back. Mm. We have decided to fix our differences, and I'm going to stay in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10. All no that more. commotion. He done, he done tore up the house. Yeah. How you going to tear up your own house and got to stay in the very house that you done wrecked the kitchen, wrecked the living room, the bathroom, and now you got to fix it up and stay right there in that house? Shannon, your all-time top 10 player just disqualified. My top 10 player is still there. No. He the most he the more accomplished of the Kev, uh, he more accomplished than Kevin Durant. No, Kevin saved his career. Four 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 chips to two, two MVPs to yeah. one. Yeah. And one big three to one. I gotta collapse. jump in here, guys. Got, got gotta interrupt. And got I can't wait for that Brooklyn Warriors game. That's gonna be epic. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.